All right, let's go on to now, so we've ticked off part A. Let's go on to the narrative balance sheet. Now we've already, now what makes it a narrative balance sheet? You'll see that, so the narrative is there. So what I want to write is my balance sheet. Now this is a static report. So we've got the most important piece of information is at, at that particular date. Don't tell me it's for a year because it's not. And the first thing I'm going to be putting in is my current assets. So my current assets, now let's have a look down. I'm going to do these in order of liquidity. So the one I want to put in first is my cash at bank. So my cash at bank is 25000 My next one will be my accounts receivable. And my accounts receivable is 39000 And what's next? Prepaid insurance. And my prepaid insurance is 1,350. Have I got any others? I don't think so. So let's get a total there. My total uh, is 60. 5, 60, 54, 65,350. After current is non current. So my non current assets. Let's start with my computer equipment. My computer equipment is $29,500 uh, and this is less my accumulated depreciation. And my accumulated depreciation is $3,500. So that will give me $26,000. And then we have any others? We have non current asset here called land. And it's 35,000. Any others? No. So that'll give me 30, 50, 61,000. So my total assets will just be my current assets plus my non-current assets. So that'll give me 125, 126,350. My next bit is my current liabilities. Current liabilities. My first one is accounts payable. And my accounts payable is 17,000. Uh, my next one is revenue in advance. and salaries payable. Not 250. So that gives me 17, 17, 17, 17, 8.
Next is non-current liabilities. And what have we got? Equity. We've got a loan. I don't think we've got any others, no. So I've got 15,000 there. Which will give me total liabilities. Total liabilities of 17 and 15, 32,800. Next thing I'm looking for is net assets. Now my net assets is easy, it's my total assets minus my total liabilities. So it's my total assets here, less my total liabilities, and we should get uh, 26, 3, 95,550. And the last section of my balance sheet is equity. And the first item of my equity is capital. Now my capital, we're not sure what the capital figure is, so we have to calculate this. What else do we need to put into equity? We've got drawings. My drawings is 8,000. And the last thing is I want to add my profit in. Now my profit we can get from uh, our previous statement, so my, it's 51,250 is my profit. So I put my profit in. And I know all that should total up to the same amount as I have here. So it should come back to 95,550. 95? 93,000 I should say, not 95, 93,550. So let us calculate. So I've got 93,550 um, minus 51,250 plus 8,000 equals 50,300. And that'll then complete my balance sheet. Now the last piece of information required is using the definition and recognition criteria, explain why you have classified the item loan in this way. Now we classified the loan as a non-current liability. So really why are we classified it as a liability? So it's asked me for the definition and recognition criteria. Yeah. So the definition of an, a liability is I've got to have an obligation. I have to have a past transaction. And I have to have an outflow of future economic benefit or what's sometimes called an asset. So if I look at my obligation is I borrowed money from the bank. I need to repay. Just fit that on the page, need to repay. My past transaction is borrowed funds. And the outflow of future economic benefit will be repayments. Money. Now the recognition criteria, my recognition criteria are two. First I have to, is it probable of outflow? of future economic benefit and then it's measure reliably.
So is it probable of outflow of future economic benefit? Yes. The business will repay the loan. And can I measure reliably transaction value? Or borrowed amount? So that'll be my question number C.